हेलो रिविन माई सेल्फ फल्गुनी सोलंकी वेलकम टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द पोएम लेबर एंड टॉप बाय पोएट टेड ह्यूज दिस पोएम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर लेसन थ्री द लेबर एंड टॉप इज अ ट्री यू विन सी एट द एंड ऑफ योर पेज about the tree a short tree with hanging branches yellow flowers and poisonous seeds you can also see in the picture which type of laburnum tree is so about the author ted huge he was born on to august to uh, 17 1930 and uh, died on october 28 1998 in london the poet was specially an english poet and uh, whose most characteristic words is uh, without sentimentality emphasizing the cunningness of animal life in a harsh way in the present poem the labyrinth top it's uh, about a repaying relationship between the labyrinth tree and the goldfinch bird how there is a connection of a bird and tree throughout their life as we know the yellow color is a uh, symbolize the silence and death and is made alive by the bird and her young ones as we know like yellow leaves there is almost there is a end of uh, leaves time so here the goldfinch also symbolize something in the connection of with yellow color the yellow bird has a uh, her shelter on the tree where she feeds her young ones who see any ki goldfinch but uh, as soon as the bird leaves to fly in the sky the trees become silent and death like again let's see the poem and we understand it by line by line in the first line the labyrinth top is silent quite still so first of all here the narrator any the poet described the how the labyrinth tree is so here he said that the labyrinth tree is silent quiet and still still any complete there is no sound trees alone as we know when, whenever there is a bird on the tree we can hear the sound of the chirping but no birds means there is a complete silence in the afternoon yellow september sunlight so what was the time that the time was that afternoon specially month september and it's a sunlight afternoon definitely it's a sunlight time a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen the leaves of labyrinth top was yellowish so here yellow is also there is a uh, represent representation that there is a dead like silence dead like silence and uh, also here how the bird give liveness to that yellowing leaves with its presence and all its seeds fallen till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirp that silence was there only till the goldfinch comes and after goldfinch comes with twitching chirping twitching yani ki sudden jerk moment chirp yani ki birds sound a suddenness a startlement at a branch end startle suddenness yani ki suddenly and startlement yani ki feeling or showing sudden shock so when the goldfinch come and sit on the end of the branch of a labyrinth tree there is a complete uh, movement sudden movement then sleek as lizard and alert and abrupt so here the comparison of goldfinch with lizard sleek as lizard and alert like also lizard and abrupt abrupt yani ki rapid quick she enters the thickness and machine starts up she entered the thickness it means she entered in the thickness of that leaves and 
whenever she enters the machine starts up machine starts up yani ki sounds noise starts up why because the bird itself present that bird means chirping and chirping means noise of chirrings and a tremor of wings and thrill chirrings the whole tree trembles and thrills whenever the bird enter inside in thickness with that chattering chattering yani ki that make a chattering sound and tremor of wings tremor of wings it means um, involuntary vibration of the wings like jab bhi wo birds unki jo wings hoti hai usko hilate hain to jo leaves ke sath takkar hone se jo awaaz aati hai usko bolte hain tremor of wings and thrills thrilling thrilling yani ki that chirping sound is produced by that um, bird the whole tree tremble and thrill tremble yani ki shaking and thrill yani ki sudden feeling of excitement till then before the goldfinch come there was a complete silence but the silence was still the goldfinch comes and whenever the goldfinch enter in the thickness of the leaves suddenly the thrilling the excitement was uh, started it is the it is the engine of her family what is the engine of her family what the noise the chirpness of bird is the engine of the family so she stalks it full then flits out to branch and showing her bare parent face identity mask yani ki goldfinch stalk stalks yani ki to add fuel to the engine and uh, flits out flits out it means lead on to a branch and after then thickness he move uh, make some space and lead towards the branch and showing her bad face identity mask bare yani ki strippy face as a identity mask look see i am a bird like this one like as we know there is uh, you can see also see in the picture that there is a uh, one mark on her face and it's like identity mask of her this one is identity of goldfinch but then with airy delicate whistle chirping whispering she launches away toward the infinite so after next step from the goldfinch was that with airy delicate whistle how airy delicate delicate yani guys been like um nazuk type tender airy weird and strange whistle chirping whispering Whis- whistle chirping it means a gentle whispering like that um, chirping of the birds and whispering so yahan pe jo goldfish bird hota hai wo easily like delicately uska jo normal sound hota hai wo usse chirp kar rahi hai she launches away and towards the infinite infinite yani like anant kahan pe chali jati hai wapas on that open sky jahan pe uska pura ghar hai jahan pe wo complete time pe ghumte rehte hain and the labyrinth subsides to empty subsides in again that uh, diminishes jo condition the labyrinth top ki again wapas wo aisa hi ho jata hai alone without any noise stillness is again that so students this one is a little bit explanation about the poem here you can also read that what is goldfinch goldfinch a small singing bird with yellow feathers on its wings also you can see in the picture that labyrinth tree and goldfinch okay this one is just a introduction and explanation of the poem now let's start with the figure of speech like uh, we can also say that poetic device so here we we'll start with first of all the second line in the afternoon yellow september sunlight so you can say september sunlight so both s and s it means alliteration as we know alliteration means this repetition of the consonant sound at the beginning of two or more uh, words so here you can say that repetition of sound s s and most consonant sound at the beginning of the word so again september and sunlight both represent s so the repetition sound so again figures of speech is alliteration a double l i t e r a t i o n alliteration okay now next alliteration you can find that trees tremble 
here trees tremble this one is also a figure of speech and same figure of speech alliteration tree t and tremble t both represent and lead towards the alliteration repetition of the consonant sound and the first letter of the word now next one we have simile find where is simile slick as lizard as we know like as and like what describe and indicate the figure of speech simile simile any comparison between two things using like or as so you can see that slick as is lizard it's a figure of speech and poetic device and this one is simile s i m i l e now next one is metaphor where is metaphor just fine she enters the thickness and a machine starts up you can see that okay now here first of all we discuss what is metaphor the metaphor means an indirect comparison between two things generally quietly uh, compared there is no word like like and as but still there is a comparison and here she entered the thickness and a machine starts up the noise created by the movement of birds like the machine starts up yani ki noise created by the movement of the birds is compared to the machine's noise yahan pe hai na machine directly hai aur indirect bhi hai why the enters of the thickness jo aawaz aati hai wo machine ki aawaz ke sath compare ki gayi hai that's why okay next one we have is personification now where is personification so here you can see that the whole tree trembles and thrills so personification means the attribution of personal nature characteristics to something non human things any comparison between non human thing with like a human thing the whole tree trembles and thrills to yahan pe to trees hai it's compared like human one yani ki living one and as we know like trembling and thrills mostly by a living thing so tree is compared as human element so it's a personification next one is transferred epithet where transferred epithet that you can see here her bad face identity mask so as we know transferred epithet it means the figure of speech where the adverb is transferred to another noun like we discuss that um, beautiful night so night was that but how beautiful so here's the face is that but how bad face as identity mask so this one is also transferred epithet okay students we will discuss again more good figure of speech in poetic device and lessons in our next part but before we go let's see again the summary of this poem in a few way and few words let's see the poem libidin top starts with a description of libidinum tree whose top was still and silent its leaves had turned yellow why yellow because it's september time and when the tree was standing still and death like and also it's a daytime because we have the word here the sunlight it means definitely it's daytime the lifeless tree becomes alive by the arrival of goldfinch bird and uh, she came to feed her younger ones who are on the thickness of the branch so here the word is that she enters the thickness why she enters in thickness to feed her babies and uh, the tree is her shelter her yani ki for goldfinch and for his family she arrives at the end of branch with the chopping sound and she further moves to the other side of the branch with the rapid movement and the movement was like that strokes it full and the pleats out of branch and and see further moves to the other side and uh, the movement here also you can see that the movement is like the sleek as lizard and her movement 
was like lizard. As soon as she arrives, her younger ones start chirping. That's why there is a word that we can hear the sounds of birds. After feeding them, the birds again flies up for to feed more or to collect more food for their babies. And her dark color, and her goldfinch dark colored face with the yellow body was barely visible as she vanished behind the yellow leaves. Both leaves were also yellow, and the color of bird is also yellow, so it's almost similar. And see, and her goldfinch flew away in the sky, leaving the tree dead like again. So this is the end of the poem.